Naamini kwamba kuna kitu cha kiroho mkisikia. I did not teach as much but we had uh, an atmosphere of prayer. Sikufundisha sana lakini tulikuwa na mazingira ya maombi. So uh, we thank God for the overnight. Tumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mkesho. We can clap our hands to God for the overnight. Amen. And uh, we are in the floor. I think we're in the last week of uh, the prayers for the end time awakening. So make sure this week you participate in in our prayers. Yeah, uh, the event and the uh, of end time awakening is on January. So we've just remained with one month of preparation. And we have a lot of uh, cost to cover. Ziko gharama nyingi za kuweza kuzifanya. And uh can see the finance committee so that we can pledge and we can give by the grace of God uh, so that we can finish uh, uh, some several processes that need to be finished. Unaweza kuona kamati ya finance unaweza kukusha idea kuweza kumandaliza naendelea na yes so god bless you but also uh, uh, this uh, this this saturday imamosi ya stand up here can stand up we are going to have a, a ministry from our fellow member tutakuwa na huduma ya mwezetu it is going to be held at banora there tafanyika pale banora a prayer for tanzania ni maombi kwa ajili ya Tanzania Independence Day 9th of December siku ya uhuru tarehe 9 so we'll be there tutakuepo pale from morning kuanzia asubuhi till the time that uh, it will end paka wakati tamalizika so in your time table kwa ratiba yako <coughs> this saturday mamosi si, mamosi na kuja make sure that you attend the service hakikisha utakuepo you, you don't have an the, the poster you have it you can, you can show it there So we can clap our hands to God for the man of God here. You know, when we are doing ministry like this, God expand the ministry in different ways. He is a child of this ministry. So when he is doing something, we are doing something. Are we flowing? Amen. Yeah, so this is the I'll, I'll be there also. I'll be there also. It is a prayer feast. Amen. 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 It is Tanzania prayer feast. We have a purple color there as a dominant color. It is the priesthood color. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And what is the theme? Raising a nation of priests and kings. Raising a nation of kings and priests. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is is being teaching me what to teach and I'm happy about it. Amen. Amen. So I hope that uh, uh, when you are there you will get something big to move forward. Amen. Amen. So we'll be here on Saturday Independence Day. We'll be here praying I uh, will be at Banola praying for the nation of Tanzania so that God can raise up priests and kings. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's so much important because it's like when god is raising up priests in a in a in in a word language it's like he's raising up wizards for the kingdom of light yes i mean it bonus fiwe you know understand a little bit about priesthood but a priest was able to put a piece of cloth and a piece of cloth changed from red to white in front of people's eyes so it's like it is a society of the people when i said wizards your 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 facial expression has changed <laughs> hallelujah your facial expression has changed it's like what are you saying But when you speak about priesthood it's like that when god is raising priesthood he's raising the people that can look upon the things that are happening in the spirit for example the magis 
that uh, came to witness about the star of a king that was born. How do they know? They were looking at things on how they're happening in the spirit. So if God is really raising a nation of kings and priests, it means there is a certain way God is intending for a generation to move. Amen. I'm sorry about saying wizards. I'm sorry about that. Hallelujah. Okay, let us go back to the merging of the dimensions. Last week I started with faith. And um, we had a certain flow. And always when I come out of here, after I finish teaching, I ask my mother, so how was the flow? She gave me the feedback. And I know what to do in the coming weeks. Amen. Amen. So, uh, I started with faith. And guys, when I am teaching, try to be open-minded. Because I know what God is trying to do to our spirits and to our souls. He's trying to do something that we cannot receive easily. So sometimes God has to go an extra mile so that we can get a glimpse of what he's speaking. I started like this last week. I said we are not human beings. We have never been human beings. We were not created to be so. But there is a way the world has trained us. So that we can perceive ourselves as human beings. And when uh, we, we, we walk in that way. It is so much difficult for God to communicate his will upon our lives. It takes time for God to convince us about even the gospel that we are preaching. So imagine when God is coming to you. He is not starting to tell you about the gospel. He is starting to tell you about the realization of purpose. Because as long as we don't have the essence of what the purpose of life, it is very hard for us to receive the sayings and the word and the speech of the Lord. So all these things that we are trying to do, and I always say, most of the time when I start to teach like this, the focus first is not to give you something. The focus is to make you realize something. And I know there are a lot of challenges in life. And it takes a person of sacrifice. Personal sacrifice. To sacrifice your soul. To understand what God is saying. Because most of the time, because of the troubles of life, we tend to leave the voice of God. At least we can say the genuinity of the voice of God. We tend to go away from that genuinity voice of God. Because of how we are congested with the troubles of life. Now it takes a man who has denied himself. Even when he is passing through some troubles, but his focus is looking at the genuinity of the voice of God. Because it is only in this way we can be able to grab the voice of God that is genuine. So I, I, I was teaching in the overnight and I said when Jesus was looking at the city he wept for the city. And he said when I am looking at Jerusalem Jerusalem is there. There are some things that are spoken about Jerusalem. But I am weeping for Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem does not know the seasons. And the Bible says he entered into Jerusalem. And when he entered into Jerusalem, he entered into the temple. And when he entered into the temple, he found people doing business in the temple. It was the same temple that God 
made through his servants so that people can worship the Lord in the temple. So that people can offer prayers in the temple. But the same temple, people are doing business. Now most of the time, we do not know. But we are doing a lot of business in the temple of God because of missing the genuinity of the voice of God. When you hear something and that something does not reveal the real image of God inside you have had something of spiritual impact but we are doing business in the house of the Lord because the seasons will not be aligned with something that is not aligned with the image this is why the Bible has the audacity to speak it is saying let not the troubles of this life Cover your eyes so that you may miss the coming of the Son of Man. So it is possible because of the mere troubles of life, even if you believe in God, but because of the mere troubles of life, your eyes can miss to see the coming of the Son of Man. So it means the troubles of life do not come just to trouble you. The troubles of life come so that they can hide something of God from you. That's why the Bible is saying let not the heaviness of this life the troubles of this life let not make you miss the coming of the Son of Man. It can make you miss the coming of the Son of Man. And when you miss the coming of the Son of Man, it means you are doing business in the temple. What you hear, what you see, what you practice upon, can be a business in the temple. So we must change the way we hear. So that when Jesus is looking at the temple, when Jesus is looking at the city, he will not weep. Because when he will be looking at the city, he will see the people that are praying. Because the house is intended for prayer. And if the house is intended for prayer, it means when Jesus is looking at the temple, he must see the people that are praying. The things that are people, these, these people are hearing, should be the thing that are leading those people to prayer when they go to church and they listen to the message the message should lead the people into consecration as long as the message is not leading the people to consecration it means the people are in the house of the Lord they are in the temple of God but they are doing business in the temple of God so don't don't do business with your soul. It is the time where we are so much, uh, we are, we, 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 we are so much concerned with what God is saying so that we cannot sell our souls to the devil because when we deny the genuinity of the voice when we do not follow what God is saying it means we are doing business in the temple of God because the temple of God is my body so whatever that comes in my body should not be a business should be something that builds me up into a prayer life into consecration into the alignment of the kingdom of God so take heed of this the troubles of life can make you miss the coming of the son of man we are too young to be troubled by the troubles of this life at least there should be a strength there should be a strength that can descend and penetrate na kupita. beyond the limitation that this life has set. So when I'm starting to teach like this most of the times, I'm trying to make you realize to give you a mindset to open your eyes to open your ears not to understand first what I am teaching but to realize the importance of what I am teaching when you do not realize in this way it is so much difficult for us to realize the voice of God are we flowing are we flowing so be open minded 
When I am teaching about faith I know we know there is how faith is being taught But there is a way I am trying to teach it And when you understand it It won't benefit only the results of your life It will, it will benefit you in this life Out of this life And beyond realms Are we flowing? Romans 10 17 before I go to Hebrew that we did uh, last week uh, Romans 10.17 the Bible says so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God Amen faith comes which version is this? KJV so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When you go to certain translations, it does not come from the word of God. There is a parameter that is set here where God is placed. And because we understand how authorities in the spirits are working, it is important for us to understand what the word is saying. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. It's very important to understand that part. Amen. Amen. Okay, what is this? S A S V. Standard. Version. Okay. So belief comes. Ah, he's confusing us. But let's just feel. We know belief is not faith. Now, how can we have this confidence? You know, sometimes a person can say, So, so do you say the Bible does not speak? No, it's not about what the Bible is speaking, it's about the parameters that are set in the spirit. So we are not forcing anything. There is a map that we are looking. Okay. Let me prove something. Go to the book of James. Go to uh, verse 19 first. I'll come back to that one. Mm -hmm. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou dost well. Eh. The devils also believe and tremble. Thou believe that there is one God. That is well. The devils also believe. Say, say the devils believe. The devil believes. So, when we speak about belief, we are speaking even what the devils can do. Do you see? Even the devils believe. So, they don't have anything peculiar. It's just a dimension that is called of the devils. And it is a bit higher than the dimension of the flesh. But they also believe. So they also believe. So sometimes they are also in the confusion of the spiritual knowledge. Am I opening your mind? Thou believe that there is one God. Even the devils also believe and they tremble so they, they don't only believe you know in, 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 in this world we believe in one God but we, we have a lot of God that we believe there is one God so when you go to Islam they have one God when you go to Christians we have one God there is no tremble trust me because if we could understand what the meaning of believing that there is one God and they tremble. We could understand what is happening in our world. So even the devils do believe. Now go back to Romans 10, 17. I want you to show something. So then faith comes by hearing, right? Go to ASV. So this one is wrong here. This one is wrong here. Because Listen to me. Because when the hearing comes from the word of Christ, you won't believe. You will be having faith. 
Are we flowing? So, in this place, it is not belief. It is faith. Because we know even the demons believe. So when Christ appeared, the demon said, I know who you are. But this is not our time. So they have a certain ability because of what they believe in. In their dimension. They believe that there is one God. So if we believe there is God, with what James is writing there is no difference between us and the devils because what we have is what they have they believe and we believe but there is an extra step that is called faith I have been preaching about this for almost four years now I always say there is a difference between belief and faith even the devils have belief but the sons of God do not believe only. Belief is a step that born faith. So faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of Christ. There is one advantage when your eyes are opened in the revelation of the word. You will be able to say that this writing is an error. You may not know much about English. Listen, there are men of God in the times of the old. Maybe they did not understand Greek. And the, 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 the writing in Greek can come. What we have to do, they will have to listen to what you are saying and tell you translate to me that Greek and when you translate it wrongly according to the spiritual parameters they know and they tell you this Greek writing is wrong in this age there are some books that have come these are the books that were not placed in the Bible a lot of books. So we have the secret gospel of Peter. The gospel of Thomas. The gospel of Philip. The apocalypse of Abraham. The secret revelation of Paul. The book of Enoch. The book of Jashir. They are not placed in the Bible. The book of Maccabees. The song of uh, the three young men. It was wrote uh, in the time of uh, uh, in the time of Daniel. These all books are not placed in the Bible. Now, we don't know who compiled the Bible. But we do believe in the Bible. But there is a knowledge that is not placed in the Bible. And because of our theology, we are prohibited to go beyond what is compiled in the Bible. But we are in the world where these things are coming out. The only way for us to defeat the confusion is not only reading those materials, is being able to descend the material that is beyond your Bible. And it cannot happen if you are not trained to see the parameters of the Spirit. So everything, now, we, we have a lot of translations. ASV, KJV. We have a lot of commentaries speaking about words and those stuffs. It is good because they are increasing our ability to understand those human language. But there is a way we must learn to see that there is something beyond what is written. There is our eyes. They are able to penetrate within the lines of the writings. And any knowledge that shall come to you, you will be able to descend it Trust me right now They are finishing off the reality 
a little reality, a little truth that is in the Bible. These versions that we are reading, they are being compromised. Something of truth is being taken out of the true word. That's why when you get time, most of the time, I read a lot of books uh, uh, that were written in the 15s. And trust me, when you go and read those books, at least that were written in the 20th century, 19th century, when you go and read those books, you come to see that what these people were focusing upon is so much different from what we are focusing upon. I have one book at home. It is called Modern Theological Mind. Modern Theological Mind. Akili ya kisasa ya kitheolojia. Eh, namna hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. It is called a Modern Theological. It was written I think in 1960s. Iliandikwa 1996. Eh? 1996. Stini. Stini. Yes. And when this was being written, na ilivyoandikwa hicho kitabu, there were some trained people. Kulikuwa na watu ambao walifunzwa. That were changing the language from the old to the modern. Walikuwa wanabadilisha lugha kutoka ya zamani So what we are reading now in theology, tunachokisoma it is not a concrete material. Sio uh, it is a modern theological mindset to fit our minds so we cannot read the voice of god in that manner hatuwezi kusoma sauti ya mungu namna hiyo that's why day by day kila siku doctrine isho is being corrupted lina geuzwa because there is a foundation that was touched kwa sababu kuna misingi imeguswa you you don't need to translate to me the modern language from the old hautakiwi nitafsiria lugha ya kisasa kutoka kwa zamani it is not only the language that gives me the meaning of the things of the spirit sio lugha tunayonipa maana vitu vya kisasa there is a greater perspective on how i read these scriptures kuna mitazamo mikuu na kwa sababu so i gave you a testimony before i go further on that one nikupa ushuhuda kabla sijaenda zaidi one day i was praying na siku nilikuwa naomba in 2014 and 2013 But mostly it this voice increased in 2014. And as I was praying, I got a certain revelation. And it was a revelation that I did not understand in the language of the Bible. So I tried to look on the scriptures. I don't get the meaning of it. So I googled it. I wrote the revelation as it came in my heart. So if God said turn right, I, I, I wrote turn right. Are we flowing? So I wrote the exact words. As I got the revelation. And when I wrote it, this is the time I got an encounter about the Judaism. I knew there is, there is something that is called Judaism. So when I wrote that thing, Google gave me something. Google Because of that writing that I wrote on Google. Google said, Google ikasema, not the word Google said. He said this kind Of course it opens it opened a certain book a certain page right he said this kind of revelation was a secret revelation that Moses was given one he was experiencing the revelation of God when the bush was burning and they say it is not taught akasema haikufundishwa to the jews kwa wayahudi until they reach the age of 40 mpaka wanapofikia umri wa miaka 40 so i read again nikasoma tena so it is something that is real 
And I loved it because it spoke about Moses. So as it spoke about Moses, I knew I'll find it in the Old Covenant. But the problem is my Bible is translated and the language that I have heard is not a language that is translated. There is a court of the spirit that I have had. My problem, I was looking for a certain English, for a certain Swahili. Na Kiswahili. And from that day, na siku hiyo, my confidence in hearing God increased. One person asked me, Mtu moja ninuliza, she is not here right now, hayuko mali hapa sasa. she is out of the city, I gave her a prophecy once because I saw the prophetic in her. You know, when we are looking at the prophetic, it, is, it has distinctions. When I looked at her, I told her, I see the prophetic in you. But this kind of prophetic is an ancient prophetic call. There are people that are called in the prophetic. And when you look at the prophetic, you see that your call is called into the into the ancient kind of the prophetic. Are we flowing? So she said to me, There is one thing that troubles me. Where do you get the confidence to teach maybe something that we have not heard? And I understood she is getting revelations. She is getting things. But she is not confident to speak them out. Because there is something in her mind that has limited her to speak only, to be accepted when she speaks something that is spoken by people. So one day I was speaking to her, it was in the university. And as I was speaking to her, I was teaching her about matter. So I said to her, You know, you are standing here. I was testing her ability. Are we flowing? I said, But this place is not a hard place. You are not standing in a, in a solid ground. As I spoke like that, suddenly, her mind was taken in a place without a solid ground. And she said, stop. I have to go to my room. Stop talking what you're talking. It means the ability there. The level to see is there. But there is no confidence because the theology has created a limitation that you shall only speak what is spoken of what is approved of so imagine God is trying to break a certain foundation and all people that carry that ability and mandate are afraid to utter what God is saying because there is a way the mind are limited by the words of the theology am I saying that go against theology no I'm not saying that go against theology I'm saying that you can penetrate what the theologians have translated and go into a code that is the code of the spirit and trust me when you do that there is a day that is coming the theologians will be reading your scriptures will be reading your teachings will be hearing what you are teaching and they will start to write commentaries on those stuffs because when we speak about the cause of the spirit it is beyond what they can be taught in class it is something that comes by the grace and by faith theology does not teach you faith Theology teaches you belief. And it takes a person that has a gift of God to develop faith from the belief. So most of the times when we do theology we are doing theology to gain belief. But there must be a grace to develop faith so that you may not stuck in theology. Are we flowing? Are we flowing? Are we flowing? 
You know, the generation that God is raising up is the generation of the Spirit. So there are some ways of the Spirit the generation has to learn so that the generation cannot be limited. So faith comes from hearing and hearing comes by the word of Christ. So we are not troubled by what the world believe about Jesus. We are not troubled by what the church believe about Jesus. We are troubled about the faith of the church inEsus. Because we know faith is not belief. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing comes by the word of Christ. This is the parameter of the scriptures. That when we say a person has faith. It means a person has developed an ability to hear from revelation. And when we speak about faith in this manner. We have changed the whole picture about what people believe about Jesus. In a group of a hundred people you may found 99 with belief but one with faith that's why many are called but few are chosen in a group of a thousand people you may found 200 with faith and 800 with belief so the chosen in this group are 200. They are called. 800. And the kingdom is not stood up. By the called. It is stood up. By the chosen. Are we flowing? Are we flowing? Are we flowing? Are we flowing? Now go to the book of James. 19. Okay, start from 17. Even so faith, if it is has not works, is dead, being alone. So, now we are being we are being taught about something that is called faith. Because most of the time we know about belief. We don't know about faith. So the Bible says even so faith if it doesn't have works it is dead being alone. 18. Yeah, a man may say thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will show you my faith by my works. 19. Thou believest that there is one God Thou dost well. The devils also believe and tremble. 20. And but he said, be believe one and then take some. Your statement is not a bit of a kin. One I pendisha. But wilt thou no? I'm not going to choose him to me. Show one. Now you are thou thou. Though this is not America. Sunona? Yo ni nini? Yes, we. Mana ni vile vile. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Eliona Biblia gani? King James. King James. Okay, sawa. Okay. 220. I'll read in Swahili. It is Sumbuke. Okay. Let me read from this version. But would you like evidence, you empty fellow, that faith without work is useless? And I'll move to verse 26. For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. So the Bible is trying to say if you say that you have faith 
You must have works. Because you cannot have faith without having works. If you are having a faith that does not have works, that faith is dead. So, faith Okay. So for faith to be complete. Up, up. We have a subsection. We have faith. Now it comes by hearing. And hearing comes from the word of what? Of Christ. So when my open. My eyes open. Because when we speak about faith, faith comes by hearing. It is not hearing. Okay? It is hearing. Wangapi tunakwenda sawa sawa? Naona watu wanipungia bahasha. Bwana wabariki sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Je, nimeshtuka naona imezidi nikajua kula au kuna kitu napungiwa. Kumbwa watu wajipepea na jasho. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Faith comes from hearing and hearing comes from the word of Christ, right? When we speak about this hearing it's not this hearing it is this hearing when a person has heard from the word of Christ it means a person is revealed of the word of Christ so in revelation the first aspect of revelation is the eyes so when you say faith comes by hearing and hearing comes from the word of Christ I'm not saying hear what I'm saying I am saying see what I'm saying that's why faith is hard but belief is easy the devils believe that there is one God but they've never seen him the ability of faith is not given to the devils the ability of faith is given to the believers because the believers are the ones that are partaking the revelation of Christ and because they are partaking the revelation of Christ they are gifted faith but the devils continue to believe because they are not given eyes to the revelation of Jesus so when we speak about faith we are speaking about an ability to see the word any person that has faith it means his or her eyes are given a partaking of the revelation of Jesus so the devils will never and can never have faith because they are not given the ability to see the revelation of Jesus the devils the angels are the people that are supporting those who have faith because they are the one who are given an ability to see the revelation so when the bible speaks about faith comes by hearing and hearing comes from the word of Christ it means he is speaking about the people that have ability to see when they are reading of the word of God they have the ability to see the word of God trust me we can come to church we can go home come again to church if the ability to see is not developed from the word of God you have belief you don't have faith that's why Jesus is saying again many are called but few are chosen one character of the chosen is the ability to see and I'll show you something so for faith to be complete there, there is a part of works and when I'm speaking about the part of works it should be relevant to the faith that you have are we flowing now open the book of Hebrew 
Remember I'm teaching about merging dimension for realms, right? Now faith is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of the things not seen. We were here last week. Go to verse number three. Okay, nenda mbili kwa nzanzia mbili. Tuone wenzetu walio kubalika na buwana. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Okay, three. Through faith, we understand. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll stop here today. I want to show something. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. Are we, are we flowing? So by faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do not appear. Now, let just me speak one word. Show the works of this scripture. To say faith without works is what? Is dead. Now, when you say faith without works is dead, kuna mambo yetu ambayo ni ya kiimani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ubarikiwa na ukafanikiwe katika ayo. Bwana asifiwe. So I'm trying to teach faith. So faith without works is dead. So if you have faith in God, you have to go to church. Sindivu atumishwa bwana. If you have faith, you have to do, you have to do, you have to do, you have to do, and do, and do, and do, and do, and you have been doing it. Amen to that. Now let us be practical. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made from the things which do appear. So how can we show works from that kind of faith? By the way, how many have faith? To understand that the words were framed by the word of God. How many? Now let us be the, let, let us flow. Nyo sham kono. No na kuregiru wala cheka. Swala di na mtego. Ni swali. How many believe that the word was framed by the word of God? How many? How many have faith to understand that the words were framed by the word of God? <laughs> so you see, when we are looking at the spirit, these words, by the way, when you get this revelation, you are like Moses writing Genesis. How many believe? You know, right now we can get to scientists. I keep on preaching on English. Right now we can we can we can have a debate with the scientist, right? Agape came to me with a question uh, on on Friday night, and uh, he met a person that was speaking about uh, the, the 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 flat Earth and the spherical Earth. How many know that the Earth is like a ball? How many? Okay. How many knows that the earth is flat? By the way, it is. What matters now? <laughs> right? <laughs> what for? But right now, it's a topic in the world. <laughs> a very big topic. <laughs> that in that topic, faith is included. <laughs> Belief about God is included. How many saw the, the rocket of Elon Musk just two weeks ago? That was Wangapi. People are having a plan to go to Mars, you know. And we are just here talking. So we have two people. And there is a certain confusion, right? Because the rocket went up and it's like ikagongana na kitu. You pa. And it's like the rocket blasted. And the people of flat earth are saying the rocket, when it was going up, it made with the firmament that God created. Because the Bible says, when God separated the waters, there were, there were below waters, waters and they were above waters. But between the above waters and the below waters, God placed the firmament a support. So when a person tries to if why do we believe like uh, God created this earth 
but God cannot create something that can be touched there. Why, 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 why sometimes we say, okay, I've met this confusion. It is happening now. People are saying, heaven is not a place. Heaven is, is a parable of the revelation of God. Why can, can't earth be a parable? Because when we speak about heaven, it was created with earth, right? And earth is tangible. We, we touch earth, right? We eat from earth. We are swallowed up by earth when we die. Why, why do we say that heaven is just a revelation? While earth is tangible. So sometimes people are being, are being broken when they, they have this hope to go to heaven. So they are being told, heaven is here now. <laughs> are we flowing? Now when we learn the parameters of how God created things, the things are open. Okay. So the flat earth and the philic earth, go and do your research. Through faith we understand that the world's we are framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen we are not made of the things which do not appear. Now, when the Bible says faith without works is dead. It means when we are reading this kind of scripture we have a faith that must have works. Now imagine you are reading the scripture. Through faith I understand that the words we are framed by the word of God and that the things which are seen were not met with of the things which do appear. And for faith to be complete there is a part of the consciousness and there is a part of matter. There is a part of tangibility. That is what James is trying to say. If faith is, is without works that faith is dead. So if I have faith in God, where are the works of my faith? Not the works of God. Remember. So I have faith that I can heal. So when I heal, my faith is complete, right? I have faith that I am like who? God. Faith like I am like, I'm like who? God. God. So for my faith to be complete, the works of that faith, it means I have to be who? Wangapi tuna flow pamoja. Now, look at that scripture. What is it helping us in belief? What is, is it helping us in the journey of salvation? How is it helping us in our journey of salvation? Through faith, we understand that the worlds were created. Why do you put, do you put faith in something that does not help us? Okay, when you understand that the world we are framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do not appear. Are you for, forgiven your sins because of this faith? I'm trying to show you something. Trust me. I can teach forgiveness of sin from this scripture. And for real, forgiveness of sin is in this scripture. Now the problem with us that is how we understand faith. But there is how faith is explained by the scripture. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do not 
appear. Believers, let us not focus on the things that what? The things that appear. But our focus should be in the things that do not what? For the things that are seen are temporary. But the things that are not seen are what? Are eternal. Now, faith. We understand that the words were framed by the weight of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do not appear. And because through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. It means because we have this kind of faith through understanding. We must show the works of our faith. So sometimes when we are speaking about dimensions and realms people can say where do you get this in the Bible? It is in the Bible. Remember when I started teaching about dimensions I taught a little bit about faith. Through faith we understand that the worlds. And I taught you about consciousness and matter, right? Right? Now it works like this. So, through faith, we understand that the words, how many words? Aha. Kumbe menekea mpia, ni kwa sijajua. Sao. Wanesa sifiwe. How many words? Okay, when I started to teach about dimensions, how many words did God spoke to us not to worship the gods? Hmm? How many? Hmm? 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 Heaven? Mm-hmm. Earth. Earth. Mm-hmm. Under? Under the water? And where? Naam. Under the earth. Tukisoma kitabu cha kutoka, we see that like four dimensions that God has spoken. He spoke about heaven. He spoke about earth. He spoke about the world under the water. And the world under the earth. These are words that God has spoken to, to us. By faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made from the things that are unseen. Now, ngoja tuweke tuwa mfano, waizi nine, sindifu watumishwa buwana? Buwana yesu wa sifiwe? Buwana yesu wa sifiwe? So, through faith, we understand. Kwa imani tunafahamu. And God, wherever there is faith, palipo na imani. For that faith to be complete, there must be faith and there must be works. So, if by faith I understand that the, way, the, 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 the words were framed by the word of God, because it is the word of God that has framed the words, it means the conception of faith is not from the words, but the conception of faith is from the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do not appear. So it means the conception of faith is not from the things that are seen, but it is the conception from the things that do not appear. And the Bible says when we are looking at the things that do not appear, we are looking at the eternity. Because the things that are not visible are eternal. But the things that are not, vi are not uh, the things that are visible are temporal. Do you get my point? Do you get my point? Now, how is this scripture important? Because as far as I am concerned, right now, whatever God is teaching us, it is revealing Christ to us. So if the apostle placed this scripture in his writings, 
It means he was communicating to the people about the revelation of Christ to them. And because through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. It means we are demanding a work from the faith. Are we flowing? Are we flowing? So imagine faith is conceived from the word. Now, when I'm speaking like this, I'm not talking about belief. So if you analyze yourself and you find that you have belief, it means your obligation is to find faith from the belief. So man of God, what are, what are you saying? I'm operating in God. I see one, two, three. When you read your Bible clearly, you will see that the manifestations of the works of the spirit are given to the people that believe. For example, when you see Peter and the apostles, before even Jesus died and resurrected, they were given the power over demons. They were given the power over sickness. And before Jesus died and resurrected, they were able to perform miracles. Are we flowing? The Bible said there was a time when they went and healed people. And when they came back, they were happy. And said, Lord, with your name, demons are departing from people. With your name, we can heal sicknesses. And the command was heal the sick, raise the dead. Before the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we cannot hide under the umbrella of the faith that have works in the hearing. I'm not saying that is not important because we are not even doing it as much right now. Few people, at least what you can look and say, this is it. The Bible says, heal the sick, raise the dead. Take out demons. Now, what is a bit of trouble in our time. Before I do all of that, yani mtu anakuwa amechoka, nimemwagia maji. Nimefanya hiki, nimefanya hiki. Now, I'm not saying that don't do that. But there is what the Bible says. Through the what? The name. Kwa hiyo, when you find the people that are doing it exactly as the Bible is saying, Surely I know one man for, for now. Ile, 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 ile ndanga, ndanga I am sure I can testify about one man who is doing that. Without mbwembo nyingine yoyote. It's just the word of God and healing and going. One man. Ambe hana mazinga ombwe. Buwana sifiwe. Buwana sifiwe. Of course, in Pastor Chrissy. <laughs> you see how he's doing healing? There is no anointing oil. There is no water. There is nothing. There is his word and his breath. And the touch. You saw the last healing, healing, healing school, right? There were like nine people sleeping in the bed. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nine. You are all healed. You get my point? Now, am I saying that God is not using other people? No. There is a standard. So, we are not desperate for ministry. There is no commission. Ambo nitapata duniani kwa sababu ya kuimitate kitu ambacho akijamachua. There is a standard. Mwana isu asipe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. A call of ministry is a call of foundations, substances, so that even when you are not here, things can grow, things can move on, and they will never 
move on if the foundation is not built perfectly. So a believer can perform miracles. A believer can heal the sick. A believer. A lot of you are the evidences of yourself. The time you are born again, there are some things we are doing, you are not doing them now. I remember in, in the year like 2012 I followed Christ in 2011. So 2012 I was still praying. So one of my sisters brought her friend and her friend was like conceiving and when she conceives the pregnancy will go out. Like three or four pregnancies. So my sister came with uh, that ministry and I prayed. And because of that prayer, she has right now four, 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 four kids. And it is my auntie that is, is taking the profits because they are neighbors. Do you get my point? So wherever she passes at my auntie's place, from the time she knew that that was my auntie, every day is a testimony. I have even forgot her face. I, I, I don't remember. I only remember her name. But it was the time I had like one year and a half in the path of Christ. And I did things. Because the ability of a believer is there. You know, sometimes you go and listen to the testimonies of Watuto Aukwata. You'll be amazed of what they are doing in schools. There are children there, they, have, they are 13 years old, but they are working as kings in those schools. I gave you a testimony of one of my brother who was in a school. And uh, he, he just got born again. But his sister was known at the school as a prayer warrior. So people concluded, because your sister is a prayer warrior, a brother also is a prayer warrior. His mother was known at the church as a prayer warrior. So people concluded him. So the guy was just new in faith. But because your sister is powerful. So something happened. You know, in, in, in those villages, things are happening that are tough, you know. So people were in class. And suddenly, a person became stiff like this. So the teacher was confused. They looked for the sister. They did not find her. So they said, there is a brother. <laughs> oh. So they called him. And you know, when you are born again, sometimes uh, growing up in the Christian families, when you hear these things about demonic issues, you become happy. Because you are going to release fire. So when he was called, he went into the classroom. And he found something amazing. Not the demon troubling people. A child stiff as a tree. So when he went there, he was like amazed. What will I do here? And he went there. <laughs> you know, Jesus is so awesome. He does not know even what he's doing. Something has happened. The whole school is there. So the teachers are out of their classes and they're there. Even the teacher, because the student that went and called the brother was in a period the teacher was teaching. So they, they, when they said, teacher, somebody's being called, there's a problem. So the teachers had to go and see, what is the problem? This guy is being taken out of my period. So, and he said, neck be released. So the person was like, neck be released. And the neck was released. <sighs> so this is the game. So I said, okay, you, all, all of you get out. <laughs> So they went out and he prayed for the whole body and the body was okay. And the people entered again into class. So the teacher that was teaching the guy went back into class to continue with 
what he was teaching. So the guy went back in class. So it's like the teacher was writing on the blackboard and holding his waist. And he, he turned back to the class and said, you people, don't play with some people here in the class. They are big people. <laughs> he was just a person that was being born again. A child in faith. Do you understand? One day he took me to my grandmother's uh, area. So we went there. You, you know, we, we are people of war. We like to confront. When you go to a place, you don't feel comfortable until you find the witches of the area. So that is the kind of a person that at least started with me in faith. So we went to the village. It was the time for the harvest of Mpunga. It was my first time harvesting Mpunga, by the way. So I went there and uh, we started to pray in the night, pray in the night, pray in the night, pray in the night. And we, we are not just praying for our family. Prayed for the whole village. If there is a throne in this village, we put it down. So it reached a time we were out from our grandmother's area and, you know, in the village, you, you go to a lot of your relatives so that you can say hi because you're not living there. So we passed at the market and we met a certain old lady. I remember that picture because I was, I, I think I, I, I had maybe a month of, or two months of uh, getting into faith, of believing. So that lady, we are coming and we are, we, we are very tall at our place. That brother of mine, I think is a bit tall, a little bit more than me. So we are just walking. That lady has, he saw us. She bent down and passed. So me, I was amazed. But this guy, these are his things, so he's enjoying. <laughs> because at this time, he finished his secondary education, A-level edu education in Songea. So they were doing these things. So he said, do you see your grandmother? He's bowing down. When we were coming back, the house of my grandmother is like in the, in the, in the, in the middle of the farms. So you see the house there and there are farms. As we are walking, I, at that time I don't even speak in tongues, so I have to hear what you pray so that I can pray. So the guy was speaking in tongues as we were walking. Speaking in tongues as we were walking. Speaking in tongues. So I had to, to, to continue flowing. You know, I don't know what to pray there. I remember this incident so much open that it is like happening today. So we reached to the place. So because I don't understand what he's praying, I was about to go to, to other issues there. And he said, come, let us pray. And we are praying just behind the house that we are going to. And as we are praying, this is the time I saw that witchcraft is real. As we are praying, you know, we are in the open area where there is, there is a floor. And, you know, because there are farms, so there are there is a wind that is moving. So you cannot feel hot. But as we are praying, there, is, there was hotness that was projected to me. I saw it. And I was in that hotness like in 30 seconds. And when I felt that, now I knew what the prayer point is. I started to pray. And that hotness disappeared. And when it, it disappeared, he said, okay, now let's go. So I knew it was better. A young man was able to do things. So, if it is about doing things, we can do things. And yet, we are not doing them because there is an error in our understanding. There is an error in our sacrificing God. We don't sacrifice enough. So, even that power of a believer is not there. But when we have faith, and we understand the words. It means God will demand the works of our understanding that has come by faith. So if I conceive by faith that the word was made framed by the word of God. It means I have conceived the dimensions that were created by the word of God. And because through this faith, I have conceived the realms and dimensions. God will demand the works of that faith. And that is the point where now I start to shift in the words. That 
to the point now I start to shift the dimensions and realms and this is so much important in our salvation because forgiveness of sin is counted as a person is shifting in the dimensions of light so through faith I understand that the words were framed by the word of God which was from the beginning it means all realms and dimension are inclusive from the faith that have conceived by the word of God it is important because for me to understand the word of God it is not a matter of hearing it is a matter of seeing as far as my eyes can see God has given it to me so as far as I conceive the words that were created by the word of God as far I can shift dimensions and realms and as I'm shifting through the word of faith I am being satisfied ready for salvation what is salvation this is God this is the word this is heaven this is earth this is under the earth this is under the waters right right when Jesus died he went down to the pit if you don't have a revelation of the down it is difficult to go up because the down is the foundation of destruction hmm. And through the word of God, all these were created. When I am conceiving from the word of Christ, it means I'm conceiving from the integration of the creation. I'm conceiving from the integration of the realms. And because I am conceiving from the integration of the realms, it means all the realms will be contained in me. Through faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. What is salvation? Salvation is when I understand the word of God and be satisfied in who? In God. What is the understanding of the word of God? The understanding of the word of God is when my light is increased. And when my light is increased, dimensions and realms are opened. And when the dimensions and realms are opened, it means I'm being transfigured. So if I conceive the dimension of heaven, it means God will demand my works from my faith. And my works is to be in heaven. <sighs> Believers, wake out your salvation. Wake out your what? Wake out your salvation. What is salvation? Life salvation is the change of the levels of light because this is what we have heard from him and this is what we have brought to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all conceive faith belief is easy faith is not easy we can take one here to teach you the conception of faith. So imagine believers are coming to apostles. The apostles are not troubled only by the people who believe in Jesus. But they are training people that have faith in him. Because it is in faith salvation starts to be cultivated in man. So all the time we are looking for a point where we stop believing and we start having faith. The devils with their ability, they do believe. They, they, they don't have faith. For realms, now, basically when you read this scripture first, through faith we understand that the words we are framed by the word of God so that things which are seen we are not made of the things which do appear this verse is trying to explain
how salvation is attained and achieved in a man. This scripture is teaching about forgiveness of sin. Because the forgiveness of sin is not in the adaptations of what you know it is sin. But the forgiveness of sin is inclusive in a dimensional reality. That's why even Jesus was, was, he was taking man out from sin. The Bible says, he who knew no sin. Now, in a human form, he knew no sin because he never sinned. Are we flowing? He was made to be sin. So it's like, so he was made to be an adulterer. An adulterer is a product of sin. A fornicator is a product of sin. That is what is working inside him that is producing results. He's a sinner, not sin. Jesus was made to be sin so that we can be the righteousness of God. So, Jesus was made to be seen so that you can be the righteousness of God. So, when righteousness is being counted upon your life, it is different when you are a righteous. Because the formula of Jesus was him to be seen so that we can be righteous. Anything that is born in a human life with knowledge is a dimension. Oh, how do we know that sin is not an act? Because sin came by the opening of eyes. So there was something that the eyes saw, conceived, and it produces sin. And when the eyes can see Something came because of sight. It means a dimension was opened and it caused sin. So even when we are dealing with the forgiveness of sin, we are dealing with the dimension that was opened. So that I can open your eyes above the dimension. This is a proof. This is the what? Is the proof. We have believed in Jesus. We do not do sin. But we see it all the time within us. So we are having control over not doing it. Yani <laughs> Because out of your belly shall flow the rivers of light. Why if Why It means something is still inside. Now this is the reality. Am I breaking you down? Am I nakufunja mo? No! I'm showing you the reality of the path. As a matured person, you realize you adapt, the walk, and follow the light. Kuliko kujifaliji kwenye vitu vya kipumbavu. While you know what is eating you inside. Kama mafarisayo. So this is the problem. But we know, the Bible says, whoever that is born of God, Cannot what? Alia saliwa na mungu. Hatendi. Ukisoma lili andiko. Anasema wala hawezi. Ebu nitafute ni John Gapio. First John Gapio. First John Gapio. Tumishwa buwana. Sende Google. Eh? Whoever that is born of God. Cannot sin because the seed of God remains in him. John Gapio. Yes, what ponye? Ni first John, sio 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 injili ya Yohana. 
Ngapi? Tatu? Tatu tisa. Tuenda kwenye njiri ya Yohana. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin for his seed remaineth in him and he cannot sin anasistiza he cannot sin because he is born of God whosoever is born of God does not commit sin he does not do sin for his seed remaineth in him because he has controlled the body no because the seed remaineth kwa sababu kuna mbegu inaka ndani yake. Kwa hiyo mbegu ndio ambayo inaza nini? Matunda. And he cannot sin. Na hawezi hata akitaka because he is born of God. So, hata nisipotaka nikitenda dhambi maana yake najibu. Yaani tunasema family anasema hivi. And he cannot sin because he is born of what? Yaani he cannot. While the struggle of us is to do not sin. While the struggle of what is born of God. Yani I cannot. Not because I'm controlling myself. There is a seed that remaineth in him. Now, it is not shameful to know the positioning of our spiritual hierarchy. Unless we want to take the people of God at the sheep hole. We preach the truth. The seed remaineth in him. He cannot sin. So as long as we sin, we have a problem. Don't we perform miracles? We do. But there is a path that is laid upon us in front of us. We see it. Imelezewa. Tunajua tunatoka tufanya nini? So work out your salvation. Increase your capacity of light. Because this is what we have heard from him. And this is what we are preaching to you. That God is light. And in him there is no darkness at all. So as I am coming to church. I am looking for light. Not so that I can defeat the devil. No. So that I can be satisfied into salvation. We will be serious. With what God is speaking to us. Because we know the projection of the voice of God is to increase light. Oh, we will never do business with the temple of God. You will never allow any person to take advantage of your problems, of your emotions. I know that I have problems. I know that I am passing through tribulation. But the journey, I can see it in clarity. You cannot take advantage of my situation so that I can hear it at the voice of God. No, I know what the voice of God is. If God will speak about my problem through you, I will know. But you don't, it, you don't make it the center of the message because my emotions are troubled by it. Why? Because the path ahead is clear. I cannot do business in the temple of God. I cannot hear the message that only play with my emotions. <clears throat> the journey ahead is spoken. I know that duniani nayo viki lakini I know how to encourage myself to come out of darkness to come out of tribulation while I have not lost anything about God I have not lost anything about how God communicates with me so that when I am at my success place my heart will never be uncomfortable because I know what I did to get where I have to get what I have to go to get where I am I know. I sustained the genuinity of the voice of God. Ni may sustain. Sauti ya Mungu. I have never done business with my soul. And Satan went to Jesus and said, I'll give you everything that you need if only you bow to me. If that was not a greater temptation, Jesus could not be have tested with it. The temptation, there are three things in the world, right? The last of the body, of the flesh, the last of eyes, and the what? The pride of life. So, he showed him all the kingdoms of earth. So, he was not only speaking to him. He was testing his eyes. And Jesus said, ah, I won't do that. I won't do business. Now, Jesus was shown the kingdoms of the world. It is simple things 
that we fall after being deceived by the devil. Simple things. Simple things. Simple things. Because we don't have the clarity of the the journey high. We don't know what we stand on. Hatuji tunasimamia kitu gani. Hatuji hata nikipoteza vyote nitabaki na nini. Hata mahali fote afutike inabidi nibaki na nini. We don't know. We are coming to church. We are going home. We are coming to church. We think it is a system of life. We think it is the way we are supposed to do. We think we, I do not have to, to lose God. But the devil is stealing your time. So there are some commitments. When they are made. There is a clarity that is opened. As a believer, you are looking for faith. And most people do not know that as believers, they don't have faith. Because faith is another step from belief. Stand up. When the ocean rise and the thunders roll, 